welcome back to another video within the generative AI tool series. And in this video, I've brought yet another tool for us to explore, which happens to be Hugging Chat. So if you're not very well accustomed with Hugging Face, you should be if you're watching this video. So Hugging Face is more like a platform for data science folks, AI and ML engineers, generative AI engineers. Uh, so you can find a lot of open source models over there. You can find fine-tuned models over there. You can explore a lot of data sets over there. So there's a lot going on on Hugging Face. And Hugging Chat is more like an extension of Hugging Face and a chat GPT-ish experience for you. Uh, the key differences between chat GPT and Hugging Chat is that Hugging Chat provides you a range of diversified models for you to sort of play around with or if your task requires to really experiment with different LLMs, experiment with different range of LLMs uh, like, uh, you know, medium scale and small scale LLMs, then Hugging Chat is the tool for you. So this tool uh, allows you to experiment with this group of models. The very first one is Cohere for AI. So this is Command R+. Plus. And it's the default model with Hugging Chat. So it's, and the reason being is that it's the first open weight model, which has been in GPT-4 in Chatbot Arena. So Chatbot Arena is more like a benchmarking tool. It's a third party benchmarking tool. It has its own leaderboard and it rates LLMs. Uh, so let me show it to you. So this is Chatbot Arena. And how it works is uh, like you're provided with two models. They don't tell you which is which. And you can sort of prompt uh, the model. And the model will provide you with the answers, both A and B. And you have to rate like which one is better. So in our case, uh, I just used this and I found the response from A better. So I voted A is better. So upon these votes, uh, it sort of builds upon a leaderboard, which you can see over here. So at the top of the leaderboard, you can see GPT-4 is at the top. Gemini 1.5 Pro is second and Llama 3 is 11th. Uh, Gemini 1.5 Flash is ninth. So yeah, that's what the leaderboard is about. And you can find uh, more details about it in a video that I did, which was about finding the best LLM out there. Uh, I'm going to hook it up into the cards. And I've talked about uh, quite in depth with most of these models here, especially Llama 3, uh, Mistral, uh, Google's Gamma. So yeah, if, you, if you're interested in finding more about them, you can watch this video. Right. So uh, alongside the models, so we have like nine models here, uh, we can also make assistance. So just with a few clicks, right? So you don't really have to code anything. You don't really have to set up anything. Uh, so this particular tool does everything, all the heavy lifting for you. And it also has an assistant community that you can reuse and you can build your own assistant. But this is something that we'll uh, probably discuss in the next or the upcoming video. So let's go ahead and test Hugging Chat. So the current model, uh, which I'm going to use, is our favorite. And I guess uh, the favorite from the open source community, which happens to be Llama 370p. It's in your WhatsApp. It's in your Instagram. It's in your Facebook church. It's everywhere. But it's good as well. It's, it's like, if not the best, it's one of the best. So let's go ahead. I'm going to ask it a few questions. Um, but before that, let me go ahead and check its knowledge cutoff because I really want to showcase the strengths of the of Hugging Chat and the tools that uh, sort of comes uh, with Hugging Chat. So we have Llama 3 on the 11th position and the knowledge cutoff date is 2023 December. All right, let me ask it something that is a bit more recent. Okay, so I'm going to ask it about Codestrol, which happens to be the first ever code model by Mistral. It's really popular these days. I've been using it in my VS Code and it's amazing. I already have a video done about Codestrol 
and how you can integrate within your VS Code. I'm going to hook it up into the cards. You can go check out and you can really transform your development experience. If you ask me to choose between Copilot, Amazon Q and CodeStrong, I'll I'll just choose CodeStrong. It's just that good. So um, let's ask, tell me a bit more about CodeStrong. All right. So CodeStrong, it's a fascinating platform that's gaining popularity among developers and startup enterprises. So Co uh, CodeStrong is an AI-powered code review analysis platform, which is false. It's hallucinating. It doesn't know anything about CodeStrong. Uh, because of its knowledge cutoff date, which happens to be December 2023, and CodeStrawl is a bit more recent. I think it released this month. So yeah, uh, now we're in a bit of a pickle. But we have a tool which is about search web, which we can activate and we can ask questions. So first, uh, it's going to go ahead and search the web. It's going to bring the responses to Llama 3. Llama 3 is going to morph those responses and then present it to you. So let me go ahead and uh, ask it the very same question. All right, so I'm in my new chat. And as you can see, my current model is Llama 3. I have search for web tool available for Llama 3. And if I go ahead and select different model, so the tools alongside would change as well. And one of the best features about Hugging Chat is like, I can turn this on, hide emoticons in the conversation topics. So it's like, it's like, a, uh, it's like a thing that whenever you generate text or descriptions from these LLMs, uh, there will be a lot of emoticons. So this here is going to help us. And as I change the model, you can see the tools are changed. So I have web search enabled, URL fetcher, document parser, image generation, and it varies from model to model. So you have everything like in one place. So that's why I'm, I'm a big advocate for this particular tool. So I'm going to paste the same prompt over here, hit enter. All right, so it says they're calling tool document parser, but we only need web search. So, all right, so now it's giving me the right answer. CodeStrawl is an open way generative AI model designed for code generation tasks launched by Mistral AI. And we have, AI, according to Mistral AI, CodeStrawl outperforms other AI models in coding tasks such as CodeLama 70B. Duh, duh, duh. And so, yeah, that's, that's correct. That's the right answer. So basically, that's how you can leverage uh, some of the tools within this platform to complement um, the answers which may be wrong, which may be like, because of the fact that your model is hallucinating, it can be due to the knowledge cutoff. So you can use a variety of tools here. So this tool really gives you that extensibility, that it gives you that range to work on. So yeah, that's why I kind of like this outing and it released in April, 2024. So it's pretty recent so yeah that's that's pretty much it for this video i hope you like this new tool and in the next video we're going to explore the assistant section and how you can build an assistant a rag assistant especially with just a few clicks so stay tuned and yeah i'll see you in the next one